So what's really going on? Welcome back to another video. My name is Eddie and you are watching Stay True to the Flavor. Forgot my ingredients. So welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be making some carne asada fries. That's right, some delicious. Every time that I make something, it's something that I'm going to eat here, that I'm craving here, because I have to eat it. I can't just keep, you know, make it and throw it away. So today I'm gonna to be eating some carne asada fries. Stay tuned and we'll jump right into it. Show you my ingredients. Got some rusted potatoes. Then I'm gonna be cutting it with uh, this little knife here. Some salt and some pepper, some oregano, some ground cumin, some garlic powder, some chili powder. Of course, my favorite, paprika. Oh, gotta get some more, sorry, running out. Some onion powder. We're using some oranges, some sour cream for later on, the avocados for some guacamole, a little bit of spice, some tomatoes for the pico de gallo, and, I'm miss and some cilantro, and I'm missing my onion. I'm going to throw in some white onion in there as well. Okay, so for today's carne asada fries, I'm, mm, I'm going to be making some french fries, nice and crispy. I'm going to fry them twice because I said nice and crispy fries because I'm going to be piling up some guacamole, some pico de gallo, some carne asada, some wet sour cream on top of it, and some lemon juice right over that. So that's why I want my crispy fries. The first thing we gotta do is marinate that meat. Okay, let me get these. Thin pieces out here first. Nah, don't have a lot of fat, but just a little bit of take off, because you know, fat is flavor, especially if you're grilling. Put it in here, put my seasonings and my orange juice in here, let it marinate right in here. And I continue to get all my meat done. Okay, now I got all my meat ready, some cut up. Now I'm going to add my spices. Let's film. Oh, come on, paprika. Again, you don't like paprika, leave it out. Or don't add that much. And of course, I got to You see, right now, I want like that. I can no longer stick that in here no more. Got to use a neat clean spoon. Some chili powder. You don't want it spicy? Use the chili powder out. But for me, but for me in my house, we will eat the spice. Okay, so I got my orange juice in, my seasonings in, salt and pepper. You might even need more salt. Now I'm throwing some thin slices of onion. Yes, I knew I threw some onion powder in there, but still, throw some onion in there. It's gonna make a difference especially when you're cooking it. Okay, throw them on the grill and they smell up something delicious. Again, this is some comfort food, guys. If only it is for me. Look at that. Let's mix all this all up in here. Give this a good mix. Look at that. Yeah. One more orange. Okay, so the meat is aside, getting marinated. Next comes a beautiful, nice green gold right here. Some green butter. avocados into your blender or you could do it like I usually do it quick guacamole put it into a bowl with your fork smash it in and throw in whatever you want to throw into it but for me it's going to throw this look at that beautiful 
beautiful avocado. Now, if you're going to be using your knife to take your pit off, remember to move your fingers out of the way. Up in your palm, nice little slice, little twist. To remove it with the thumb, push down, it pops right out. Simple as that, just don't make a mess like I did. Okay, like this, and I'm going to throw in three cloves of garlic, a yellow chili pepper, which you call them chili huevos. Oh my goodness, it's going to be spicy. Look at that. Oh wow. Just a touch of onion and some salt. And I'm going to use the juice. Of two lemons, maybe more, because uh, don't look like they have that much juice in them. Okay, I'm not going to throw no more lemon juice in there. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I have some guacamole salsa that was already made yesterday, so it's not that old. So get it open. I'm going to just throw that in there. So I'm going to go ahead and incorporate it all. Turn out to make it spicy after all. Okay, I was afraid of this. Oh, creamy guacamole. Okay, so we got our guacamole. Nice and creamy. You can get the single kids the rest of it out. It's still loud in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, that guacamole all done. Now it's time for my pico de gallo. First, I'm going to slice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just want to stop real quick and send a special shout out to Laura Martinez out of the RGV out in Hardingen. They requested something with beef and one of my newest subscribers. Thank you, Laura. Okay, well, let's continue with our pico de gallo. Oh, man. It's a lot of stand here. I'm just gonna take this, do this. Okay, pico de gallo done. Time to fill my potatoes. It took me a while, but french fries are all cut. Some nice hot oil. Drop in some fries. Some of my pieces are smaller than the others because I'm not a machine, guys. So, hey, it's gonna come out however it comes out. Pretty, pretty good though. I do say so myself. See now there's little golden brown right there. I'm going to take them out. Drain some of the excess oil off. Put them on a paper towel. Let them rest for a little bit. So I get most of my potatoes done. Then I'm going to double fry them. Because I want them crispy. I want that crunch, boy. I want my fries to stand up to the guacamole, the pico de gallo, the sour cream, and my lemon juice. Kicks it all up. Okay, so I am taking them out, but I'm not gonna salt them yet because they're gonna go back into the fryer. So once they finish frying twice, then I'm gonna throw salt on them. And yes, I know, it's a lot of work, but cooking is love. You gotta put work into it. You gotta throw your love into it. If not, I'll be eating them every day. I'm like this so you won't see me. I am ashamed. For those of you that watched my last video, my uh, fried chicken and waffle video, I apologize. There won't be no more dancing. Okay, these are going in for the second time. If you don't want your fries crispy and you like your mushy, don't do it again. Only do it once. But for me, crispy is the way. Fries are out. Lightly salt. 
crispy, crunchy fries. Already. Stove top grill. See, I can say. So we're going to start by prepping our plate Put it up here so you can see it better. Ooh, nice. Hear that? Crunchy, crispy, golden fries, baby. Yeah. Just a little bit more. Get my fries out of the way. Okay, my pizza meat is still nice and hot. Get that out of there. Pico de Gallo. Just like that, as much as little as you want. And then I'm going to grab my spicy guacamole. And since I like it a lot, I told you I wanted it to stand up to my fries, right? And since I got me some extra jalapenos for myself, Throw the jalapenos on there. And I'm going to do a little dab. Oh, a little dab of that sour cream. Come on, I don't want to cooperate. I guess it just wants more right there. And then I got me some Mexican style cheese. I doubt it's Mexican style, but that's what they call it. I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle some of that right on top, just like that. And there you go. Oh, so tasty. My mouth is watering right now, guys. Can't wait to dig in. Delicious. Check it out, check it out. Mm. Right there, got some nice, juicy lemon to finish it all up. Just like that. Let's see. Mm, look at that right there. Mmm. So delicious. You need to try it, Laura. Laura. Oh, yeah, a little spice, a little sour cream, guacamole, a little bit of chili, some meat, and a fry. Mm. I'm sorry. so tasty so wonderful so delicious guys again thank you for watching my video 
Thank you for clicking on today's video. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. Till next time, remember to pray for your meals. And like always, stay true.